Hello guys, welcome to the Savvy Professor and in today's video I will show you how you can actually name your columns in Google Sheets. Unfortunately, there is no direct way of just changing the ABCDs up top here because of course changing those would change the fundamentality of Google Sheets but there are a few ways we can go around this. For this to work, first of all I have to of course select a column. I want to name column D right here. When you click on it, if it says the same letter twice with like a double dots in between, you know that it selected the whole, of course, column. After that, I can just delete that name box. And for example, let's say special. And when I, of course, press enter on it, E is gonna still be E, F is still F, G is still G, A is still A to A, but D right here is special. How that works is basically if you name something and then just go create another, of course, formula. For example, let's do a sum formula. I will do from normally you would select, of course, two values or ranges, but this time I can just say sum special. Since this column's name is now special, I can just say sum special. And when I start adding numbers to here, it will automatically pick up the code and do the sums as you can see because since right now this is called sum special. Another way of doing it is just naming the first row and then just locking it. If we want people to see these rows as something entirely different, what I can do is just say special one for example. And when I do it for this, I will of course do this and just say special two. Let's copy it like this and say special three, special four, and then special five. I want these numbers to always be here. And then I will go view, freeze, only row one. So when I do this, doesn't matter how much I just go down or up, these rows will always be here and always be named. And that meaning the column A is not column A anymore. It's special one column because this one is always to signify this column's name. And with both special naming methods and row freezing, that was basically it. And we hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Savvy Professor. And in any other case, we hope you enjoy your day. Have a great day and goodbye.